Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Good morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Just touched 12 o'clock p.m. And uh, I got a piece here to show you guys that I haven't had on the channel in quite some time. So that's pretty exciting. And that is, if you haven't noticed, it's a GEC piece. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a look at this piece. And uh, if you could stick around for a little bit, it's going to be just the first impressions. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, these are the new 47 pattern Vipers out. New 47 pattern Viper. You get the pin. I always like getting the pin with them because eventually what I want to do with the pins is I want to get a um, picture frame and I want to put all the pins in a picture frame. And I think that that would just look awesome in my room. That would really set my room off. If I got these all put in a picture frame. And um, yeah, that'd be awesome. So that's it. Um, the tube here. You've got the 47 pattern. You got one blade and 2023. So there it is. Gabon Ebony. Take you a look around the tube, but basically standard configuration. This is all titty oot stuff. This is not the high end pieces. This isn't the fancy dancy uh, cutlery. So this is in titty oot form, basic standard titty oot form. And I'll accept that every day of the week. I have no problem with that at all. I don't need the Northfield unexcelled and all the fancy uh pieces out there as long as i got a gec piece i'm fine with that and the blades come satin i like the satin blades that come with the standard um uh the titty blade um uh ones because they're satin not real shiny see what i mean they're not real shiny and i don't like that real shiny blades so taking a look around it um right off the bat you can see the Viper uh, sign right there, the um, the uh, etch, the Viper etch, and a lot of people it's a deal breaker if you if it's on your blade. To me, I have so many knives that have them on there and not on there, so it does not make a difference to me. This one, as a matter of fact, is even a little bit better. It's it's really cool with that snake going through it, Viper. Um, I think it's, um, I, I think it goes with the, 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 uh, the knife quite well, quite well. Um, you've got a nail nick here, no long pull, nothing like that. Standard nail nick, which is fine. It's very easy to get into. I'll show you that in a second. You got to, comes to a very acute point, real nice point there. Very, very pointy, very pointy blade. This is in 1095 carbon steel. You can see the blade. Titty Cutlery. Titusville PA. The backside. GEC carbon. I like the uh, shield. The big shield on the back here. I like that a lot. The Gabon Ebony is beautiful. Just beautiful wood. Just absolute beautiful wood. I love it against the brass liners. It looks very nice against the brass liners, brass pins, nickel silver. Uh, is that a, that's a brass pin. That's a brass lanyard, nickel silver bolster, nickel silver uh, shield. Really nice piece here. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to uh, obtain this one. It's been a while. Um, I have uh, missed the last couple of uh, releases with this Viper. There's quite a few of these Vipers out. And um, on every drop, I missed it. And there's quite a few of them. And um, just bad timing or, you know, it wasn't meant to be. But this time around, uh, I went for it and I got it. And I got it. 
And I like it. I'm glad I got it because I like it a lot. I like this blade a lot. I've been trying for one of these for a while. And uh, just wasn't in my cards. But nevertheless, um, the action on this one is really getting there. It's a brand new knife. Um, so it's going to take a little break in time, break in period. But you could tell that's the standard GEC right there, man. It just pops right into the half stop. I mean, you can watch it pop in there. Yeah, goes right in, no problem. Um, the centering. Dead centered, right down the pike. I mean, dead, dead centered. Really, really nice centering on that. Just all in all, just a very good piece. You know what I mean? There's not really much to be said about it. You know what I mean? It's a great knife. It's a great knife. A lot of people um, love these 47 pattern Vipers. The blade configuration is just awesome. You can see how it comes up gradually at the end there. That gradual sweep. And it's just a, you know... I mean, it looks menacing, the, the, the blade, the whole piece itself. It looks wicked, menacing. Feels really good in the hand. Really, really nice in the hand. Everything's softened. Everything's warm. Um, the transitions uh, to the bolster, to the, um, to the covers, you don't, even, you don't feel that. The pins, you don't feel the pins. You don't feel the shield. Nothing. There's nothing there. It's done really well. <clears throat> the piece is done quite well. I love that gab on ebony uh, wood. <clears throat> I'll tell you that 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 black gab on ebony is just absolutely beautiful. You know, it just all. It just flows together, you know what I mean? You got the um, nickel silver shield, the um, pins, the brass pins. It just all flows uh, together, you know what I mean? Comes to a really, really nice point right there. Boom, really nice point. You could get your intricate, you know, uh, your task done with that point. Just all in all, a home run for me. It, it's going to be a great one for the collection. It really is. Somewhere down the line, I'd like to get another one of these in another um, cover pattern. I'm still going to be out there looking for to pick up another one of these. I just like them that much. You know what I mean? I like them that much. Go on eBay and put some offers in. Make the offer. You'd be surprised. Some people are, you know, some people are willing to work. They're not all bad people out there, you know what I mean? But for the most part, feels so good in the hand, though. It really, it's going to be a fantastic carry piece. I just can't wait to carry it. I'll probably put it in, where is it here? <clears throat> I'll probably put it in this traditional... Uh, pocket knife slip right here. These are very, very high quality uh, slips. Very high quality. Some of the uh, most high quality slips I've ever uh, put my hands on. Uh, these traditional pocket knife slips. They are, v it's just something about them. They are very, very, very high quality. Very high quality slips. And uh, see how she rides. Oh, yeah. And there you go. It's going to be in there just like that. Just pinch it um, around the camera. Comes right out. And there it is. I just can't wait to start carrying this going to be great it's going to be a great carry great carry sharpness man this thing is fit 
Guys, this thing is viciously sharp. It is very, very sharp. <clears throat> All right, well, I'll let you get down the road. I just wanted to get this out. I wanted to give a first impressions on it, and I wanted to know your guys' thoughts on it. And, um, yeah, that's about it, really. What do you guys think about this pattern, this 47 pattern? Drop me a comment if you can. If you can't, I understand that as well. But um, always like to hear your feedback. Always like to hear your feedback. And I try, I try to respond um, to all the comments. I do try. Anyway, you guys be good, be well, be safe. And uh, the 47 Viper, guys, let me know what you think. Okay. You guys be well. Take care.